power back. Okay, sorry about that. Um, the battery died, but we're still going to continue. We're on like 13 minutes, 14 minutes, yeah, so we'll so talk about more. You have to do tasks every day on Animal Crossing. Yeah, so we have to do tasks every day on Animal Crossing. And when you're finished the tasks, there's not really much to do. You can just store wood and build stuff. So every day, and say if you go build a museum, you have to wait for the real day. You have to wait for real time, so yeah. it takes an actual day to build the thing, and you can't go on. You can't and, skip time either. No, you can't you skip time. It's it's it. all in real. And say if it's raining outside in the real world, it's, um, raining, it's raining in the game. If it's sunny outside, yeah. If it's snowing, and it's now the fourth. It's the second of October today, so it's pumpkin season now. Have, you buy a lot of pumpkins yeah. and Halloween version. Yeah, I was just about to say that they have the Halloween theme, and you can get Halloween costumes and Halloween candy and pumpkins yeah, and fireworks and, and you know. What you could do you and your friends like me Nicolette and James have a, a switch and I know Sarah's watching this get a switch tell her James is gonna get one for Christmas look at her look James, at Sarah James you're gonna get her a switch for Christmas James get her a switch for Christmas if she doesn't have one by then um, yeah so she'll get a switch and what happens is is that they have events like real life as well so on Halloween at a certain point of the day on actual Halloween you can go and watch a bonfire with your friends you can chat to your friends online Fireworks. everything is cool you can give can treats and it's so fun I can't wait to do that um, we need to unlock the dog level yeah you can you can unlock a dog level your own dogs we have two dogs we have two pugs me and Penny and we are going to bring them on for an episode anyway um, we were going to do it today but I said you know what I need to mentally prepare for that um, so I will so fun. We'll get them a puppuccino just for one episode. Um, and the likes of that. Yeah, but um, I got that. And I find it really cool. I really like a Switch. And it's something like, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people, you know, if you're work, like this is an example of you, you work. So after at the end of a stressful day, you come home, you get mm -hmm. your dinner, you play with your dog. And then when you're sitting in bed, you listen to some nice music and you play Animal Crossing and it relaxes you. Yeah, it? instead of just like going on your phone and scrolling on Instagram and seeing the same pictures you've already seen like from last week, mm. you can just play on your Switch. It it stimulates the mind a little bit, gets you thinking, gets you creating. Yeah. And it makes you think, it's, right, it's I need more this entertaining than just scrolling on your phone. Yeah, and the music in it is oh, yeah. so nice, it'll put you to sleep. Yeah. I think it's really relaxing and it's another form of med uh, meditation. And, you know, a lot of people are saying that games are ruining kids kids and stuff like that as well and there is a lot of games out there that are violent and do ruin kids uh, you know uh, perception on things and all but Animal Crossing trust me if you if your child if you want to get your child something for Christmas or you know a birthday is coming up or so the switch is out there that the month so I want to explain this as well before I go any further I got mine in CEX and Tally and what happened was oh my god there's a dog out the window Aww. Oh my god, look, I, we're calling this the ADHD podcast, right? Um, so what happens, episode, episode right? Um, no, this is called tal the Tala episode, right? Okay. We have to call it the Tala episode, okay. it's mostly about, mostly about Tala. Um, Animal Crossing and Tala. Um, so basically, what was I going to say? You wanted to explain something first about CEX. Okay, CEX, so yeah, sorry. See that? Jesus, I need to go get checked. Um, anyway, yeah, so... Um, get on with it. The switch that I wanted to get was 185 euro. I goes, okay, I'll go get it. I went up and got it. It went up to 200 euro. I was like, why is it going up 200 euro? They said because it's getting close to Christmas, we tend to pull up the switch because a lot of people will buy it. There was another switch for 220 euro. The reason why that was only 20 euro extra, do you know why? Guess what? It's a different color. No, because a box came with it. Like oh. you put it in a box. Oh. Yeah, so like that. So I got the one for 200 euro. I got um, a blue one. You have a, a pink one. I wanted the yellow one. I really like yellow. And um, yeah, I got a blue one. And we've been playing it ever since. Mm -hmm. And it's fun. Also, off subject of that. Wait, this is for the end. Fact for the day. Oh, sorry. We want to say as well, and we should have said this at the very start. If you're watching to this much of it. The behind the scenes of the making of the Hitman that me and Nicola, James and Sarah have created with a whole group of people is now out on our YouTube on a Dream Factory Productions. It's a 40 minute small documentary of the making behind the scenes. You will get to see personal interviews with the likes of the cast and the crew, some of them, and 
you also will see all the behind the scenes um, on the day of what we do and what we have and to do. And all the lead up to that. And the lead up to it. And also, I, I really recommend you go see it. Mm -hmm. It's getting a lot of attention on the Irish film independently of the small groups like in Wicklow and so in Dublin. Um, it's getting a good bit of attention. So please go on and watch it. We have a new film coming out. We always do. It's and on our YouTube channel, The Dream Factory Productions. Yeah, The Dream Factory Productions. I will, mm -hmm. I'll, I will leave a link down in the description below for you to go check that. So We go. also have a competition running as well. Oh yes. Lucky winner. Oh yes, I forgot that. If you want to win the original signed poster of The Hitmen, go to our Instagram, The Dream Factory Productions. Mm -hmm. You'll see the post there. You have to follow us, like the post, share it to your story and tag a friend. Yeah. So what you could win is the film poster itself and also tickets to the premiere. Oh. That competition ends on the 24th of October at midnight. So get in to win get in to win and mm -hmm. um, right yes yeah, so there you go I'll leave all that down below Um so we're coming to the end now oh also I got an e-scooter oh yeah and it's so fun Um I still have to try it it's so fun I How think fast it, go? it 20 cool. km h yeah so it goes about 13 miles per hour or mm -hmm. something or whatever but it's Do you get bugs in your eye no or because like, I put my wind, mask up does the wind hit you in your eyes and you're like no, not really. It doesn't go that fast for them to do that. Um, but I put my mask on when I'm driving just in case because... When you're scootering. I was coming back from um, the shops and my Did mouth, I yawned with my mouth, with the mask on, I yawned. And I went, uh, and I saw a white fucking thing just come right at me mouth, but mm. it obviously didn't go in. I was like, imagine if I was driving now, that would have went right in my throat. That reminds me, you were meant to tell me something about a scone story. Oh yes, yes, before we go, the scone story. So, um, there was a child in my house the other day, um, in the family home, and I went upstairs, I bought scones, um, raisin scones, love raisin scones, and I went upstairs, came back down, the little fucker was at my scone with his <laughs> finger, and he's poking holes in my scone, Aww. he looks at me, he goes to this, and I go, what are you doing? And he does that. And he grabs a fucking raisin. And I go, don't you eat that. <laughs> and he fucking, I mean, do you ever see Chucky in the films where they just run like that because he has long like hair? He just went, and ran. And he just started past me and ran inside. With the raisin? Or with, the ra stone? with the raisin in his mouth. I had to throw out the raisin because I got four in a pack. And I thank God I got four in a pack. I was only going to get one. Aww. Imagine me raising all oh, me scone. One. <laughs> me scone, right? Um... Yeah, and the likes of that. And also, there's sand. My ma has a sand box now for my niece. And they put sand in it from Smith's. And the kids, the other kid got um, the sand. And I went outside for a second after that incident. I went upstairs again. I forgot something. Came back down. Guess what happened? He threw the sand at you. All the sand was all over the floor. Oh. Loads of it. He was just there scooping it. I goes... What are you doing with that sand? He scooped the sand. I said, don't throw He threw the fucking <laughs> sand. I was like, you're some character, you are, right? So, he saw the dogs at the back door. He got the sand. No. And literally saw it. The door was closed and he threw it. But oh. he was going to throw at the dogs, but a hit the oak and Penny just went and ran. <laughs> and me, it just went like this. <laughs> like that it was, it was mad glass door. yeah it was glass door like so i was like oh shit i was like get that little shit out of here so he went back in the sit room and he didn't go back in every time he came back in he'd rip open the gate which is a child gate and then when i get up he'll run back in sorry sorry about that um yeah but that's my uh fun facts of the week um but what's your fun fact today to sign it out so, so let's oh, see. Right. Let's see what we have today. For October. That's uh October 1st. We're on October 2nd. We're Okay, we're going with October 1st. Okay. Top of the day. So, a random fact of the day. Beethoven, the famous musician, began losing his hearing at the age of 28. So he cut off the legs of his piano so he could compose music by the feeling of the vibrations of the piano on the floor. I did not know That's that. That's smart. And you're a pe pianist. I'm a pianist. A pe pianist. You're a pianist. A pianist. Yeah. That's, wow. 28, he started losing his hearing. That's horrible. Think of all the music he's created. Was he deaf? Did he go completely deaf? I don't know, but he started losing his hearing at 28. Like, all these famous, like, composers, they were so creative at such a young age. Like, literally, five and six years old, creating literally, like, works of art that we listen to today like 
that's mad. Um, right, so if I could speak a new language today, which one would I choose? What would you choose? Um, I'd, like, I'd pick Japanese. I'd pick Spanish. I'm try- I am I started learning Spanish earlier this year, but I need to get back into it. Our friend James is learning Japanese, and it does. And after watching Squid Game and all as well, I'm not. I'm so sorry if I'm getting it wrong, but I'll just say, I don't know. Is, is Squid Game... It's Korean. Korean, sorry. Yeah. My apologies. Um, Korean. So I'd like to learn Korean. Mm. Um, I would uh, just because of the way it's the way it is. The I think it's deadly. Yeah, yeah, I think it's cool. Um, um, joke of the day: Why can't leopards play hide and seek? Don't know. They're always spotted. <laughs> now one. and the thought of the day. The thought of the day, and the trouble is, if you don't risk anything, you risk even more. By Erica Jung. So wise words. If you gotta do something, you gotta risk it. Risk it for a biscuit. Mm-hmm. A chocolate biscuit. <laughs> nice. Right, guys. So, oh, so guys. Oh. Th- <laughs> I'm not knife hard. Oh. Um, so, guys. Um, thanks so much for joining us on another episode. Another episode. We said it's gonna be 15 minutes. It's now over 20 minutes, I'd say. Um, but this is gonna be the last episode that we're gonna do for 20 minutes. So, we're gonna structure sh- stuff out. And we're gonna make sure we do this pr- properly. You know. Um, and whatever comes out comes out. It's random. You know. It's not the best podcast. Not the worst podcast. It's just the yeah. RI podcast. And that's what we say here. It's okay, and I know you guys like it for that. My hair is atrocious, and I need to do it more. Anyway, remember to check out our YouTube, The Dream Factor Productions, and our Instagram, The Dream Factor Productions, for that competition. So, guys, until next week, remember it's not the best podcast, it's not the worst podcast, it's just the alright podcast. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll chat to you again next week. Bye. 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 Bye.